students coming on board and then some of the um, you know surprising things that you found about working at the Times. So the whole news business is, is going through a, 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 um, a kind of bloody revolution <laughs> um, and we're right in the middle of it. Yeah. But the, 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 the great thing about the New York Times is it's a group of people who have an incredibly clear, absolutely kind of laser-like view about what great journalism is, about how you make it, how you report it, how you edit it, and how you, how you bring it to the public, and how you, you, you kind of bring it together into this offering. Yeah. And the reason I'm really confident about, about the future of the New York Times company is because of that certainty of, of kind of values and of the, the kind of commitment to quality, because actually those things, even in a world which is full of media with new entrants arriving every day, those, those things are still at a real premium. They're very hard to find, and many of the things the Times does, like great international reporting, like some of its analysis and some of its comment, in some ways, you know, there's less of the, of the really good stuff now than was 10 or 20 years ago. So I think we've got a lot to, a awful lot to work with, um, and we have a very loyal audience audience to to serve. The challenge is, if you are trying to think about strategy, is what are the steps to turn that into a a business model which can grow its revenues and grow its profitability.